Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back as always with another 100% achievement and trophy guide and as usual we are continuing the weekly sale video guides and this time we are getting it all in Mechanica. Uh, this is a very very really good game developed and published by Mango Protocol, was released on 9th of November 2018 and is usually available for a low low price of 4 99 but as of this week, it is just a titular, tiny, small speck of a price at just $1.99. Cost of coffee is way more expensive, and all that does is give you the runs. So, for those that uh, played Agath Agatha Knife, this is basically a sort of sequel to that. Only as we play as Nika, who wants to collect things to make a huge robot and destroy the town. And it's a lot shorter too, which is always nice. Now, achievements wise, they're all very easy, but you need to make sure that you do not spend any money or get a hint throughout the entire game basically don't interact with the flask in your inventory i'll show you that in a little bit uh, you can also go into the options if you want and change the font from the you cannot read it at all old font or the old school font to the you can actually read it new school font um, we do need to go back and forth a few times for things but nothing is really truly out of the way so we can get this done in roughly about 30 to 40 minutes so with that being said then, let us begin. So what we can do straight away is just keep banging the A, spamming the A button there to slam through all the dialogue. And uh, what we're going to realise is, Nika is not your average seven year old, which is more hilarious to me than ever. So, a couple of uh, little button prompts then. You can press the start button to see what you ha actually have to do. Um, but if you press the Y button, that's going to open up your inventory. Nika's going to tell us a few things here. So the flask on the left-hand side, like I said, do not interact with that at all. That basically gives you a hint, and we're trying to go through the, the entire game without getting a hint. Um, the key is basically to go back to the main menu. The USB stick is to save the game, but it auto-saves very frequently anyway. And we've got... Um, and There you go. You had a choice of dialogue, whichever one you wanted there anyway. Uh, the old school or new school font, and don't worry about the ugly, disgusting vegetables. So this is what you'll get if you'll press the start button. We can run with the left trigger when we're outside. The first thing you're going to do, press the A button on the paper, and then press the X button to pick it up. So it, it can quite get a little bit used to, because you've got to use the right stick to move the cursor around as well. So it can take a little while to get used to, but when you have something above your head there, you just press the A button on what you want to use it with, and there we go, that's job done. So press A on the door and then X to leave, then run with the left trigger all the way to the left and talk to this obvious not dodgy looking dude at all. Again, pressing the A and then the X button. So what we can do then uh, is just completely spam through all of the dialogue, exhaust all the dialogue, and then we eventually get to the point of what we actually need. Um, I honestly find it doing that a little bit quicker than actually looking for the specific bit of conversation that we need, So, which is weird. And uh, this happens quite a lot through the game. There will be a couple of times we need to speak, uh, pick specific dialogue, which, of course, I will let you know when we get there. Um, so this guy's got guns. Typical kind of American school, really. Just joking. So we get our first achievement. Now what you need to do, just joking, America, interact with the gate there on the left, and that'll get us the fried chicken achievement. I'm really sorry. That was a, that was a bad joke. Anyway, we're going to head all the way to the right, past... Um, Agatha Knife, apparently, right there, and head into the door on the right. We're going into the toilets. So interact with the door on the left first. Again, press the A button and then the X button to open it up. And as you can see, somebody has left a floater. There's a turd in the bowl. There's a turd in the punch bowl. Press A and then X to interact with the toilet, and that will get us the uh, Shines Like New achievement. So the next one we're going to do then, open up the door on the right and then we're going to see someone who's already crapping their pants, but somehow has got a magazine. Hey, we've all we've all been there. We all... <laughs> and I like that Nika laughed. We've all been laughed at taking poops in schools. It's embarrassing, damn it. Anyway, press the y, bu y button there to get your inventory. And then press the X button again to get your paint can out. And then use that by again pressing the A button on the door. Now, again, I'm trying to obviously tell you which sort of buttons to use because it does take... A, a good minute or two to get used to in terms of the right cursor and picking it up with A and using it with X, etc. But, you know, you'll get it by now. You are fantastic. Anyway, we are so super cool. We get caught and we're going to end up back in the housing trousen. Ah, 
And here we are back in our housing trousers. So we're going to pick up the tools on the tool board and then the glass which you are standing directly on. So again it's A and then X to pick it up. And then interact with the Tesla poster on the left just by the computer and the lockers. And we'll grab that one and then what we need to do as well. Um, basically we'll be grabbing all of the things that we need and we'll be sorting out that part at the end of the game. So grab the poster on your door as well. And then we should be able to just leave. So leave through the door. And now we're going to head to the right. And we're going to go to the second door with the plus D on it. Now what that means is plus D inches. I assume. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to talk to our brother here. And what we say, the dialogue option to uh, just go forward is the that we need to talk to him about his favourite game. So maybe if I talk to him about his favourite game, he'll pay attention to me. That is the one we need to actually move forward. And then we can actually just leave him to his... Now this is every, boy's, every little boy's bedroom. It's so cute. Anyway, we're going to go back into our room with the big N on it. Which stands for no. We're going to interact with the computer. Now there is a specific dialogue option that we need for an achievement later on. So choose I've got an email from Robo Podcast. So do not spam the A button here. It's so easy to spam the A button and then mess up the next part. So go very slowly. And then we are going to be looking at a question. And the answer. Do you want to know the answer? Okay, I'll tell you. It's Gypsy Danger. <laughs> which is quite harsh, really, to gypsies. But it is gypsy danger, so choose that. That is the correct answer. And then what will happen a little bit later on in the game, um, we will get a package from Robo Podcast, and that is what will unlock the achievement. So now we can choose I Can Play a Trick on Dennis. And basically, we've just sent him an email saying his new copy of Carl on Duty is, <laughs> is uh, arriving. So... Uh, now, we don't actually have to read the manifest here. I, again, was a bit too keen. Spamming the A button, we can actually just leave if you want. Um, unless you want to read through it all, of course, but that's up to you. Uh, but what we are going to do is actually just leave right now. So as soon as we finish this... Thank you! So probably the only problem with this game is spamming the dialogue, and then you end up talking a whole bunch of crappity crap crap. So we're going to head back into Dennis's room. I was going to call him Dildo Dylan then, but uh, no, Dennis's room. We're going to interact with the webcam and grab that one on top. So no more watching, no more doing naughty things, Dennis. I know you're a teenage boy. And there are socks that are on the left-hand bottom side just behind my Welsh hand sign there, sorry. So pick up the webcam and pick up the socks and then we can leave. Uh, the socks will come in handy. Ew, one's a bit crusty, what's that about? Anyway, we're going to head all the way back downstairs now. Yee! Every mother's worst nightmare, that one. And now we need to interact with a SETI a couple of times. Um, basically until Nika interacts and finds the remote control us. And there it is then. So what we need to do, we need to get a mother of the kitchen. So back in your inventory, press X to use the control and then use it with the TV. Now what you need to choose is Gossip Shows. So basically, all crap like Love Island, and crap like Love Island, and all that Love Island crap. All the crap which I like to spew at. And I'm just jealous because I'm not good looking or don't have a six pack. Anyway, we're going to head into the kitchen now. Our mother is completely hypnotized by stupid idiots talking crap on TV. So when we're into the kitchen, we're going to inter uh, get your inventory out, get the tools out, and then use that with the microwave. And like I said, for a seven-year-old, Nika's bloody smart. I, well, I don't do any of that. I am quite dull when it comes to that. Anyway, we're going to head out the door on the left. And then we're going to be getting another achievement and then reloading a save. So uh, go into your inventory, get your socks out, and then in interact the socks with the cat. Meow. Meow. Meow, you son of a bitch. Meow. And that will unlock the Socks Juggler achievement. Now what we can do is interact with the key. Remember that is, uh, it's basically autosave, so you should be fine. Uh, but we need the socks for a later achievement. So uh, press A on the key, press A to exit out, and then we can just continue back in. And then what that should do. God damn, Nicky, you look so angry. Why you look so angry? So if you look in your inventory again, you should have the spare pair of Crust Delicious socks ready to go. So as long as you've got the socks, we can move on. 
So heading into the left now into the garage. And um, we've got a couple of things that we're going to grab here. Daddy's a little busy. Too busy to pay attention to me, are you? So we're going to grab the blowtorch, which is on the tool bench on the right. And then we're going to chat with Daddy. Daddy. Please pay attention to me, Daddy. I promise I'll be a good boy. Anyway, what you can do is just basically exhaust all of the dialogue before we leave. He's going to give us some money. Which, again, we're, going to, we're not going to be spending any money throughout the entire game. Um, otherwise, you'll have to play it all over again. And that would suck donkey nuts. So, heading out to the right. Uh, we're going back to the right inside of the house. And then we're going to go all the way back to the right again. Basically, we're heading out of the front door onto the old street house. So here we go, now we're going to finally start doing a little bit of sprinting, so left trigger remember to sprint, so we're going to the right this time, and then what we're going to do is cross the road, so you have to press A to use the button and then LCX to actually use it. Uh, when we get to this bicycle right here, we're going to open up our inventory, get the tools, and then press X on that bicycle, and we're going to grab a couple of tings off here. Nice, so we've got a chain now ready to go. So keep heading to the right. Um, and then we're going to interact with the green bin. We're going to interact with the hole. Apparently we are small enough to fit through there. Somehow we can climb back out as well. Some epic strength. But we are going to collect the bottle as well, which was on the left right there. So collect the bottle and then head back out. Head into the shop, which says knife on it. Now this is where, remember, this is the sort of sequel to Agatha Knife. So if you remember what happened from that particular game, you'll be happy to know that everything worked out and everyone's looking good. Holy sugar me balls. What's going on here, Agatha? So we are going to speak to Agatha. Basically, what we need to do is tell her that we can help fixing the machine. But once again, me and my spammy da -da 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 -da, my spam button kept uh, messing it up. And I kept asking her the bloody same thing all the time. So there should be a dialogue option which says um, talk about something else or talk about other options. Uh, or let's change the subject. That's the one. So if you choose let's change the subject, then you can talk to her about trying to help her fix the broken machine. Uh, for some reason, I got absolutely confused with absolutely nothing. But if that doesn't work, just leave the conversation and then it should come up again there. So maybe I can help her with the broken machine. That is the one that we need. And then basically what we need to do is just put a keypad, uh, numbers into the keypad to make it work. Could have asked your mother, but then she'd probably be a bit freaked out about what's going on right now. So we interact with the keypad then, and there's going to be an, obviously a bunch of numbers that we're going to put in. So the first one is number one. So you press A twice there on number one. It's number one again. And then number two. I'm not a number two. And then number three. Number five. And lastly but not leastly is number eight. So that's one, one, two, three, five, eight. Nice and easy. We will get that achievement. Everyone's happy. Agatha looks knackered there. <laughs> So basically, we can try and interact with the sword now, but uh, we're going to be nicer and we're going to ask Agatha as well. So again, that is me being a bit spammy for this one. Uh, you don't actually need to talk to her about all this crap. We do just need to ask her. We'll go, let's change the subject, and then I'm going to ask her for the circular saw. So if you don't see the dialogue option we need, just choose let's change the subject, and then it should come up. So we've now got the circular saw. Thank you, Agatha. You, um... Uh, you have a good time doing that stuff, honey. Yeah, you maybe brush your hair once in a while or... Uh, anyway, I'll be back. It looks kind of fun. Anyway, we're going all the way... <laughs> better than Christianity, I'm telling you. Anyway, we're going all the way back out now. And then we're going to have a stand outside, apparently. Nope, we're going all the way to the left. Crossing the road. And then we're going into the first shop that we see. The one with the nail on it, right by the bus stop. And then what we're going to do is whip out a blowtorch. And we're going to torch this shit down. Yeah. 
Actually, we're not going to do that. We're actually just going to give it to the owner here. I thought she was actually going to start setting things on fire, which would have been quite sadistic for a seven-year-old. But no, she just gives it to be fixed. So, I mean, that's also good. It's a bit less... It's a bit more boring than uh, setting the place on fire, but I'm just joking. Do not do not be a pyromaniac, okay? So out of the shop, we're going all the way to the left, and we are heading to uh, across the street again. Head all the way to the left again, and basically what we're going to do is speak to these uh, this woman in black and this cute-looking hipster dude. And we need to do then, grab the poster we got off our door, bedroom door earlier on, and then interact it with either the woman or the man it really doesn't matter um but when everyone's all chilled we can actually just talk to the hipster dude on the right so it, it did get slightly confusing first i thought they were going to sign it straight away for some reason but i'm just joking harvey from mango protocol you're not a hipster dude but you do look pretty cute so anyway like i said we are just going to talk to uh these two right here um, obviously, we've given we've already given the poster, so now we need to just talk to him. Um, basically, what we're going to do is talk to him about absolutely everything. So you can just keep spamming A on the dialogue, and eventually it'll get to a point where it says, "Can you sign this?" And both of them sign our poster, and that is where the achievement unlocks. <laughs> So for whatever reason then, uh, me giving the poster earlier on didn't seem to work. Not with a woman anyway, so apologies about that. So what we'll have to do then is, is give the poster to the guy. And then I think when we talk to them now, um, we can now, we should be able to actually get it signed. So apologies there for just <laughs> wasting a minute or two. I didn't realise that she didn't take the poster off me, so thanks for that, Hon. Thank you for not taking the goddamn poster off me. Look at her on roller skates with a cinnamon bun head. I like it. I like it a lot. So anyway, finally we get our poster signed and finally we can just move on. Bang, tidy made. So we're going into the first door on the left of where they were. We're going into our big fat grandma's house or fat head grandma's house. We're going to interact with her bag. We're basically going to keep the pensioner's bus pass which will come in handy. And now we need to speak to granny cookie head over here now again you can spam the dialogue if you want to but what we're gonna say is basically we're gonna take the piss out of her big fat head and no chin which is unfortunate um well we are in just a moment actually uh but what we're gonna do then we're gonna head into the back where granny was we are gonna speak to granny in just a second and then we're gonna interact with the door on the very left so a couple of things in the bedroom. The, the only thing we're going for is opening up a wardrobe, taking her panties, her big, fat, you know, huge, massive granny panties, and plus all the other get-up there that was in the wardrobe. Now we can go back, and then the big granny dog should be back, old cookie head. And then what we need to do, uh, she's basically going to give us some dolls as well, which will always come in handy. <laughs> Not usually, because dolls are bloody creepy. But they do come in handy this time around. So, yeah, thanks for that, Gran. You are one... <laughs> maybe it's that... <laughs> maybe she's got a, such a big head, but little brain. But she does give us some money as well. So we've got lots of money, and we've got a uh, doll's head. We need to speak to Grandma again, though. And what we need to do is go to the option where it says, She's got big eyes. <laughs> and then <laughs> we're going to say, What a large... <laughs> What a large head. <laughs> and then I can't see anything bigger than her head. It's brilliant. And then ask about Grandad. And, well... I mean, what, what what can we say other than... Grandad was sticking his no-no inside a goat's no-no. That's, um... An interesting set of events happening right there. So, after learning that our granddad loves a bit of that goat vagine, 
Uh, we can now just head outside and basically what we're going to do now is all the way back to the right in the knife shop. We're basically going to be giving Agatha Knife a couple of those dolls so she can slap off the heads for us. She is an angel beyond belief. A devil angel. A devangel. Devgel. An anal? Oh, no, wait. No. No, not that one. Anyway. So, we have um, come to the knife shop now. We are going, obviously, all the way to the right. And then just what we need to do then is go into your inventory, get out your dolls, and then give them to Agatha Devangel. Cheers, Ainge. You um, keep enjoying your crap for now. So we're going to actually pick up the doll's head. Remember to pick them up before we head out to the left and outside back onto the street again. And this time what we are going to be doing is heading to the left and we're going all the way home. Piggy crying all the way home. So it's just outside the shop right here. So there's the brown door right there. So don't cross the street. This is our house just where those two girls are. Oh, lollipop head on the right hand side. Don't worry about mother. She is out of it for good now. Watching some Love Island crap. Interact with the first door. This is basically our granddad's room. So he's about. And we are going to speak to him. And basically just tell him what grandma thinks of him. And then he's going to be all excited. Eventually. About a goat? Hmm, fair enough. Go on, Grandad boy. You tell Grandma you've stopped humping goats. Good for you, lad. So we're going to interact with the light switch first. And then we're going to see a code on the right-hand side, top corner, 101. Interact with the painting. I think this bit is done automatically anyway, so that's fine. Um, no, we actually have to interact with it ourselves, And then we can get the key, um, the safe, interact with the safe. Nico will do this automatically, and we are going to get... Oh, we're going to get riches. Untold riches! No, it's dirty magazines, but Nikita thinks she is he is a legend, so... <laughs> we do too. Good on you, Grandpa Boy. You've gone from ghosts to humans, and that is big respect to you. So, when you pick up the magazines, you'll get the achievement, and then we can go into the third door with the gilded doorknob, the, basically the bathroom. Open up your inventory again, um, press X to get your socks out, or Dennis's crusty old crusty crab socks, and then interact with the laundry basket. That's going to get us another achievement, which is why we needed to, needed to get them off the cat earlier. So then we can head back, and we're going to head all the way back to the downstairs area. So we're going to head outside and basically we're going to go to the left now across the street and we're going to see how uh, Grandma and Grandad have they made up. Oh, I sure hope so. I think he's learned his lesson. So remember, Grandma's house is just here right next to the hippie bar people, hippie bar. Okie dokie then. Turns out she hadn't forgiven him and Grandpa is as dead as hell, girl. So we'll just come back later. We, we, we didn't see nothing. But we are heading to the left. We're going to speak to this rocker, Damon. Now, this part, again, there are... We basically need chewing gum. Um, we need to choose specific dialogues to move the story from. But I just found it quicker here to spam the A button and the dialogue button to go quicker. Um, rather than trying to look for each individual dialogue. So, whatever you choose anyway, he it basically comes to the point where he gives us the chewing gum. And he's going to keep on rocking. Um, why, hello there, my... Wow, wow, my big bald friend. How's them nips doing, I suppose? Anyway, talk to the construction worker right here with sweat in his back and his hairy butt crack out. Again, what we're going to do is just keep spamming the uh, A button. Again, I just found this quicker. And we are still going to get the items that we need anyway. So, life will all be grand. And we're also going to get the maximum trolling achievement as well. <laughs> Oh, happy.
happy days. Now run to the left, talk to the homeless guy. Again, we're going to be doing the same thing. So just keep spamming the A button and smash through the dialogue until we get what we need out of him. Which is a bit harsh considering he's homeless and probably doesn't have much. But if you want to make a homeless man's day, just give him a couple of porn mags and he will be happy as he just was then. So, <laughs> see you later, Damon. Dude! But we are heading to the right. And we're going to just head across the street once more. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is just head all the way across the street. Basically, we're going to be finding the photo booth. Now, since Granny is apparently a little bit busy going to prison, um, we're just going to just disguise her. So there's the photo booth. Get your inventory out and then interact with the Granny's clothes and then interact that with the photo booth. So basically, we're going to dress up now as Granny. Like I said, our Nan is off to prison for sticking a hole right through Grandpa's goat-loving chest. Uh, we can't sprint with this bit, unfortunately, but we can head to the left, and we're basically going to head to the bus stop. So, Sonny, back in my day. And that is how you sound like an old person, a tutorial 101. Eh. So, interact the bus pass there with the bus stop, and then the bus will come, and we're off. Pretty scrapyard, Sonny. You want me to pick you up? I tied an onion to my belt. That was the style of the time. Etc, etc. <laughs> so here we are then at the scrapyard. He's living his best life. But what we need to do, pick up the empty fuel can right there. Or the gas can. Um, pick up the hose as well. And then what we can do, if we just head to the left, there should be a hole right just above us. So we need to whip out the hose that we just picked up. And then use that with the hole above. So stick it in, and then what we need to do is use the kerosene, or the empty fuel ganister, gas can, whatever the hell you call it, with the hose, that's going to give us a full gas can. Or kerosene, as Big Nicky likes to call it. So from this point we should be good, now what we have to do is talk to the ultimate chill guy. And basically he's going to ask us a bunch of questions, so again, take it slow with the dialogue here, do not spam it like hell, because... Um, I mean, I mean, I don't actually know what happens if you get it wrong. I don't think much will happen. I think you can just try and take the quiz again. But, you know, it takes a couple of seconds. So, the first thing we have to do, he's going to ask us about the four Ninja Turtles. And we talk about Raphael. Now, if you don't know what Raphael is, he is a red. He is the red Ninja Turtle. Obviously, if you do know who they are, then you'll be fine. So, Leonardo's blue. So, pick the first option there, blue. So, that is... Uh, red first, blue second. The third one there is purple. Donatello. And then Michelangelo. Well, does anyone want to take a guess? He is as orange as hell. So orange it is. So that's red, blue, purple, orange in that order. And then we can, well, we can take the free gas of kerosene. If only it was that, if only it was that easy to take things. Awesome. So we interact with the sign once. And now you should be able to, if you interact with the gate and not the sign, you should be able to leave now. So here we are. Here we are, back. We got a gas can. We got an onion on our belt. That was the style at the time. And uh, what we're going to do is just head to the right, back to the photo booth, and interact with that to get dressed into our seven-year-old clothes again. And then once we're out and we've got rid of the onion and the belt, we can just head all the way to the left. We're going back home. And remember where we answered the question on our email computer with the robot podcast earlier? Well, by now, the box should appear, and this is what gets us the achievement. So if you haven't got this box, um, you probably answered the question wrong, and you may just have to start again, unfortunately. But interact with the package. Uh... Nikki here sticks that. I don't know where the hell she puts that, but that's impressive anyway. And that gets us the Robo Nerd achievement. So now we can head to the left into the kitchen. 
and all the way to the left and back into the garage to talk to Daddy. Oh, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, Long Johnson. So head to the left right here. Now we can see Dad's face. He's quite a pancake head, isn't he, really? But we are going to chat to him anyway. And again, we're just going to spam through the dialogue to um, exhaust it all. And we can just help. How can we help? Well, what we're going to do is turn the motorbike on. So we're going to slam that on. He's going to enjoy that. But it's all just a unique distraction. <laughs> Uh, because what we're going to do is actually go up the ladder and grab the blowtorch. So, interact with the blowtorch. Nikki here will go up automatically. And, thank you very much. So, now we can just head back into the house. And we are going to be heading up the wooden piers now. The old ball and chain stairs. And we're going to be heading into our bedroom. Obviously the one with the big nib nob nib nob nib nob on it. Or the just the N on it, I suppose. So now we're going to start mixing everything together. So you need to press the Y button when you are on a particular inventory. And then use it with whatever. So the blowtorch is with the sort of upper middle... Um, ignition ting right there so you need to press Y to get it over and then Y again to use it and we're gonna get a whole bunch of achievements right here so the next one we're gonna use what are we going to use next we're not gonna be using the Hoover thing we're gonna be using the dolls heads in the middle again press the Y button and then interact that there with the ammo on the top left again pressing the Y button it's just Y and Y all the way through now so that's heavy ammo. Next, we're going to use the glass shards, the bottom left hand in our inventory, and use it with the top right of the blueprint, if you want to call it there. Expert shrapnel. So next thing we're going to be using is the kerosene. Or oh, is it? No, sorry, it is the necklace. <laughs> so again, press the white button and then put it with the chain uh, on the bottom left hand corner. Again, everything you do here just gets us an achievement. So I'm going to keep popping like hey girl so get the glass shards uh no sorry not the glass shards the engine and use it with the transmitter uh, it doesn't matter what order you can you can do this in any order um but it should all be good now use the saw with the obvious looking saw machine or oh, what are we doing what what am i doing no i'm using the tv using the tv with the tv you could probably do this a little bit quicker um some things are fairly obvious other things are probably not but so good. So next we are going to use the kerosene and we are going to use it with the flammable uh, barrel. And what are we going to use next? What do you want to use next? It's the webcam with the uh, in the middle of the second row there. That's going to get us the all seeing, all eye seeing achievement. Whatever the hell that is. Next we're going to use the actual saw this time and use it with the saw machine there. Third row on the left. And they're just going to keep on popping. Keep on popping. Like we're getting bloody shot. Uh, now we're going to use the sort of... I don't know, what's that? Hairdryer? I forget what that is. But we're actually obviously going to use that with the bottom rightmost item. Which kind of looks like a vacuum cleaner or something. Somehow I managed to get that one wrong, so... <laughs> what a stupid butthole. Right, next we are going to be using the glass shards with the mirror. The second row on the right... And that can be used as some awesome reflecting panels. And I believe what we've got left then is just the one thing. And it is the, what kind of looks like a ticket. But it's actually the explosive chewing gum. The dragon with the white, uh, with the yellow thing on it. Yellow packaging with the blue dragon thing. Use it with the last option there at the very bottom. And that is everything good. So now we can just press the A button to skip and leave uh, this bit, we don't actually need anything else now for the time being. We've compo we've combined every component together, so now we can just head out. So press the B button, and then hit the button on the wall to the left of the computer and the right of the lockers there. What that's going to do is open up this secret passage, so when we go inside, that's going to unlock yet another achievement. And I tell you what, I love games like this, which can stick achievements up here quicker than a bloody Costa coffee or something.
Anyway, there's a hose just underneath where the achievement was up, uh, popping there. So grab the hose, and then we can use that, and we're going to use it with the big supercomputer on the left. Very impressive for a seven-year-old. Not as good as Stewie Griffin, mind, but that's okay. So, uh, this bit's fine. Now what we can do is just head out of our little secretist room. <laughs> and then we're going to interact with the computer. Happy days. Now what we are going to choose is initiate the assembly of Mechanica Mechanica. And, well, head back in and that's basically... The end of the game, so all we got to do left is just interact with the sort of yellow flashing, yellow glowy thing on the left hand side. So press A, X again to interact with it, and that is the end of the game. Now you should get three achievements, and that is for not using a hint throughout the entire game, for not using any money throughout the entire game, and for completing the end of the game. So all you got to do is just spam through the dialogue, unlock the achievements, and that is another nice, easy 1,000 out of 1,000 if you haven't got it yet. Um, but even if you haven't got it and you've just watched the video just because, I really, highly, really appreciate that. You guys and gals are absolutely fantastic. But if you hadn't played this before, well, that was Mechanica. Very, very awesome. I highly advise you to go and play Agatha and Life as well. But hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. And speaking of which, thank you so, so much to everyone who continues to support the show on Patreon. And everyone who continues to support the show even if you're not on Patreon. But that is it then, guys and gals, from me. I shall see you in the next one. But, 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 big love.